What is the Internet of Things? The Internet of Things is when everyday objects and devices that are now capable of exchanging data and communicating because they are connected to the Internet. We often refer to it as IOT, which is short for Internet of Things. It is made possible because of the advancement in technology with regards to sensors and artificial intelligence. There are lots of examples of the Internet of Things in the everyday home. You get sophisticated cameras with your doorbell that allow you to view who's at your door even when you're not at home through your cell phone. You get smart glass that can be used as curtains. For example, you can set a particular time when the glass must become clear and another time when it must become opaque so that no one can see into your house. This is all done through the settings of a device. You get smart bulbs or Wi-Fi bulbs that can be switched on and off through the Wi-Fi connection even when you're not at home. You get smart ovens which can scan the packaging of your food items and then know exactly what settings to use when warming that food up. You get smart fridges which allow you to access the internet directly from the fridge. Or maybe you are at the shops and you think, do we still have tomatoes in the fridge? You can use your cell phone to connect to your fridge to view what's in your fridge. You even get devices which are constantly listening like Alexa, where you can give it commands that revolve around finding information, setting appointments or even playing music. But the Internet of Things is not just at the home. It can be used, for example, in the transport industry. There are cars which have access to Wi-Fi so that when you are listening to the radio, you don't have to listen to the local station. You can listen to any radio station around the world because of the internet access provided by your car. Some cars also send information to the manufacturer to let it know how the car is performing and they can then send messages to your car to adjust settings to improve its performance. You get e-scooters which you can access in cities by going onto a website making a booking and then they send you a code which you can enter in to unlock that scooter so that you can then use it. There is the Internet of Things in the medical field, for example pacemakers, which send information to your doctor without you even need an appointment. They can then remotely make changes to your pacemaker in order to improve its performance. There are smart toilets that take samples when you go to the loo and send this information to your doctor so that they can make decisions about anything that needs to be changed in your diet. In agriculture, you get tags which are put on livestock which monitor if they are eating correctly, where they are going, and that they are in good condition. You get tractors which are equipped with tracking systems that can monitor where they go. It's called precision farming so that it can increase its efficiency when it's deploying pesticides or fertilizer. These are just some of the many areas where the Internet of Things is making a difference in everyday lives. What is the next device that they are going to connect to the Internet? Let us know which computer term you want us to do next and follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. Click on that subscribe button so that you don't miss the videos every Thursday. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.